might grows. I think I did a wrong chord there, but I'll check in a second. Black Veil Brides. Uh, with perfect weapon per request of... Is it Jessica? Jessica De Lima. De Lima. Like Lima Bean. Lima Bean. That's it. Drop C sharp is how they're tuned. No, I got that chord right. Yeah, we cool, we cool. Alright, really cool riff here, man. They're harmonizing it. They kind of got that Avenged Sevenfold type vibe going on. And here's the first part I'm going to show you. Palm mute the low E twice. And then go 7D. And then palm mute the low E again open. So, you can even do this ahead of time. Have that ready on fret 7. And then go to 7A. Pick that and do a hammer on to the 8th fret. So you have... And then palm mute the open E again. 3rd fret E after that. Palm mute the open E again. And then hit 7A. So... Palm mute the open E after that. And then go... 10th fret A and 8th fret A. Set them both down because you're going to pick the 10th fret three times and pull it off to the 8th fret. Snap. That's uh, finger power there, man. You got to. This becomes your pick in essence. One, two, three, four. So. Ah, let's try it again. And then uh, the next one is starts over. Up to the 7A, followed by the open E palm muted, and then it changes to just a power chord. 3A, 5D, four times. Okay, that's the midpoint of this riff. And then basically the same thing, but we're changing our root. So go to the 8th fret on the E with your middle finger. Palm mute it twice, and then go to 7D. And then right back to the palm muted 8th fret E. And then 7A, hammer on to 8. So. Okay. So here's what we have to, up to there. Then back, yeah, palm mute the E. 8th fret again, and and then, and then no palm mute, and then palm mute it again, and then 7A, palm mute the 8th fret E again, and then that thing you did on the 10th and 8th fret on the A, you're going to repeat. One, two, three, and pull off to the eighth fret. So, and then start it again, just up to the hammer on. And then palm mute the eight E. And then, and that's seven, five, three on the E string. And then five. So seven, five, three, five. Spread your fingers out. Don't go. Think of, you know, covering it with a finger that's near it. You know what I mean? And then you're gonna do a slide, but you don't want to hear the start note of the slide. So you can slide from anywhere around fret five, six, or seven on the A. Slide up to ten and then pick eight. That's the, the main hook right there. Okay, that's also harmonized as well. So I, think, uh, I forget how many times that goes, it's probably four times. And then the next thing you're gonna play is open E, open A, open D, second fret G. Hit all four strings. Strings six through three. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Those 
are called whole notes. They get a four count. Go bar the third fret E, A, and D, and then go fifth fret G. Hit those four strings, let it ring for a four count. <laughs> Why do I keep wanting to go there? Next chord, 7-7 seven, seven barred on the E and A. No, no, it isn't. Don't even bar it. 7-E, 8-A, 10-D. And that gets a four note or a four count as well, so it's a whole note. Three, four, and then. Seventh fret D, it's a half note, gets two counts. Two, and then fifth fret gets one count, so it's a quarter note. And seventh fret A gets one count, which is another quarter note. So from that part, that's one measure is what you would call that. Two, three, four. So we have... Alright, so Black Veil Brides, perfect weapon for Jessica de Lima. I know I'm saying it wrong. Sorry, Jessica. Thanks for the request. Black Veil Brides, guitar stuff's always fun with them. And um, I'm Mike Gross, rockingguitarsons.com is my website. So uh, stay tuned for that. Keep looking for it. It's coming in 2013. $25 a month to become a premium member. Uh, make sure you subscribe, guys, to both channels. I have two learning channels for guitar, bass, drums, keyboards, vocals. And that is youtube.com slash rockingguitarsons1 and rockingguitarsons2. Subscribe, request on both like everyone's welcome even the trolls um you know because the cool thing is i just d block them after a while if they want to be punks so anyways i'm loving this journey though i do have to tell you if you want to take private lessons with me i'm teaching on skype and google hangout uh you could email me at rockingguitarsons at hotmail.com you guys know how to reach me youtube inbox in a comment section um i check all that stuff it's $50 an hour or $25 for a half an hour we can work on the things you want to work on that you've always wanted to improve on. It could be songs from beginning to end, help with writing your own material, solos, techniques, styles, all that stuff. My goal is to get to you know help you draw the creativity out, bring it out into your instrument. That's what it's about. Okay, so and learning riffs is one way to do it, but there's many ways to approach that. Uh, so send me a request via Skype to rock and guitar lessons only if you're going to be taking lessons with me um, if you have questions about things not related to taking lessons um, just hit me up at my email and I'll answer you there or on YouTube and if you'd like to make a donation to this channel you can do that via my PayPal email which is tbxpunk at aol.com that's my old band name from back in the day um, so I think that's it um, I do have DVDs available Right now, I just have the Ultimate Beginner's Guide DVD. And um, spread the word, guys. I do appreciate you. Take my videos, put them on your Facebook. Spread the word. And until next time, I'm Mike Gross, signing off. See ya.